all right hello guys i am back with another video and excuse my watery eyes i thought it was fucking allergies come to find out i don't think they're allergies i think they're just my contacts are a little old and i need to change them but um hi i am coming back today with another video and it's not going to be a video bit of uh, blah, 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 a beauty bit bilingual problems it's not gonna be a beauty video it's actually gonna be just a talk video um i don't think you guys have seen me just talk so i just want to talk today um i was gonna vlog during the weekend to upload something today but i was like there's nothing exciting in my life right now so uh, i am here talking to you guys about i don't know what do you guys want to talk about Hold on, give me a minute. I need to think about what I'm going to talk about. Okay, so I know what I'm going to talk about. But before I start talking about what I'm going to talk about, mind you, this was just like seriously a last minute thing. And I don't have my thoughts together. So this freaking video might be all over the place. Um, but mainly what we're going to talk about is one of the things I'm really good at and is massage. Um, I am certified by the state of California to be a massage therapist and not a lot of you guys probably knew that, huh? Well, now you know, I got magic hands and I know I have nails on and sometimes when I work on people and when they get to the office, I'm kind of like a little uncomfortable because they kind of look at me like, like you look girly like you're you're gonna massage me you're gonna work on my naked body you know because of my nails and sometimes they get intimidated by it but seriously to be honest with you acrylic nails you don't feel when you're getting worked on i've had a lot of my patients tell me especially when i have stilettos i have them tell me like dude like i didn't even know you had them on like you can't feel them i'm like i know and so yeah, a lot of people get intimidated by, by the nails, but just don't get intimidated unless they're their natural nails. Then probably because, you know, natural nails are a lot more thinner than your um, than acrylics. So you can feel them when they scratch you and stuff like that, you know. But for the most part, um, my nails don't get in the way. So and I'm actually a really good therapist. I don't like to honk my horn, but you know. Uh, if you knew the business I work for, you would see the Yelp reviews and, you know, the, just the reviews overall were almost five stars. And there's two therapists working there, so I guess we're doing a good job. Right? Right. Um, anyways, so what I'm going to talk to you guys about is, um, I guess what to expect for your first massage ever. Um, I know when I first got my massage, I was 18 years old. And it was actually uh, going to massage school. <laughs> I remember walking in because, you know, when you go to that school, the first thing they greet you with, the first, well, actually not the first thing, but the first day they greet you with is a welcome massage by the um, students who have been there, you know, quite a while. So um, when they told us, okay, you're going to get undressed and, you know, kind of naked and just lay on the table and someone's gonna come in and work you know work on you I was kind of like a guy's gonna work on me like what the fuck I was so shy I was embarrassed and um mind you I was just 18 and I am super my parents were super Hispanic super conservative and I was like holy fuck like this is the reason why my mom didn't want me to join massage therapy like she was really scared for my life but Anyway, that was my first um, massage ever, and um, and it was okay, but um, back to what uh, this video was going to be about was what to expect when you get worked on, because I know it can be scary, very intimidating, but, you know, I feel that when you're going to go get a massage... Say it was gifted to you, okay, then that's different. But when you book an appointment and you're going to get worked on, um, have the mentality that that person that's going to work on you, it's going to help you um, physically get better. Um, sometimes it's a hit and miss. Sometimes you have a really good therapist. Sometimes you'll just have a painful, you know, um, massage or whatever the case might be. 
but at the end of the day they're still helping your body some way somehow because the body physically needs some movement you know to keep working you know what I mean if you're working out then if you get a massage then it'll help you with soreness and stuff like that okay but um, dude I lose my train of thought what was I saying Oh, shit. You know what I mean? If you're working out, then if you get a massage, then it'll help you with soreness and stuff like that. Okay. But, um, dude, I lose my train of thought. What was I saying? Oh, shit. Oh, well, I guess, uh, yeah, so if you're going to book the appointment, be aware that, you know, that person that you're going to get worked on or, or the person that's going to work on you, it's going to help you some way, somehow. Now, when you go into a massage room, you're kind of like very um, self-conscious of your body. Some people, some people are just like taking everything off, you know. But for the most part, I recommend my patients to get fully undressed, like chonies and bra and everything, you know. Um... I don't work on feet for personal reasons. Um, it's just the office I work for is more, um, unless they have issues with their calves or whatever, then I'll work on them. But for the most part, the office I work for is a chiropractor's office. So it's more um, uh, medical versus spa relaxation. You know, it's kind of more into getting that person better from a car accident, um, from working too much, you know what I mean? Like just to keep them, keep the maintenance going for their body. Um, so we don't, I actually personally don't work on feet. I have my personal reasons, but as a massage therapy, you work on everything, everything, everything. So minus a tummy, I don't work on tummy, um, either, but I do work glutes. I do work legs, arms, and back. Um, but anyway, so the person that's going to be working on you is a professional therapist. So he or she have seen bodies. I've seen so many bodies, you guys. To this point, I'm I'm already to the point where I'm like, I don't care if you have satellite stretch marks. Like, homegirl's not perfect either, you know. But um, at the same time, we just see the body as just a body and a muscle. Um, I know it's a little weird, but I like to work on people sometimes with my eyes closed um it's just a thing I kind of developed with working with another chiropractor because there it was more like a spa slash I guess relax uh medical uh it was kind of like a spa and and, and and it was a chiropractor's office as well so it was kind of like more towards relaxation than anything um so there I developed on working with my eyes closed because that's what one of my therapists uh, co-workers had suggested she said Mika in order for you to work on someone and know their real issues you don't have to see what you're working with like you have to feel it so in order to feel something sometimes you just have to close your eyes and to be honest with you that was like the best advice I've ever had in my life because even if the room is pitch black dark or whatever I tend to close my eyes and um, I don't know if that's something that everyone does but for me, it works out for me. So I don't even look at the body sometimes, you know. Um, it's just another big muscle. And it's, I mean, I work through people like seven, nine, ten people a day. So it's kind of just going with the flow, you know. Like you don't really pay attention to their bodies and stuff. Like I've done this for five years. So, okay, we all have legs. We all have, some people have butts. Some people have boobs. Like, you know what I mean? Like it's not something to feel uncomfortable with especially with a therapist that has has seen it all trust me I feel like I've seen it all um but anyways I yeah so that's one thing don't be uncomfortable I mean you are gonna feel a little self-conscious con self-conscious but um it I mean don't worry about it just kind of just let it go relax if anything take deep breaths because sometimes that's what we need in order to like fully relax it's just like breathing in and breathing out, you know. Um, what else did I want to say? 
Oh yeah, so appointments. When you guys make appointments, please stay with your appointment, you guys. In our office, we have a uh, group on. So we have a lot of patients who are gifted the massage or they buy it and then they forget and they forget to call us. I know. And I'm sitting there for an hour waiting for my no-show. And it's horrible because in the office I work in, it's like you work per patient. So if you don't have a patient, you don't get paid. And it, it, it just sucks. So please stick with your appointment. If you're not going to stick with your appointment, give at least a day ahead of cancellation or rescheduling. Um, although I do appreciate patients who call like 20 minutes prior um, that same day because sometimes we can fit Pit, we, oh, blah, blah. sometimes we can fit someone in sometimes we really can't so um i would say just call a day before so you know you don't waste anyone's time um what else was gonna say i don't have my notes or anything you guys so i'm just saying as i go um yeah oh and if you're gonna tell your patient Usually when you go into a massage, you know, they give you a form of what you want of the what you want them to work on. Um, so please don't be that client that toward the towards the end of the massage, you're like, oh, yeah. And um, can you work more on my neck? You know, because we work on everything. We have an hour or sometimes an hour and a half, sometimes even half hour to kind of work through the body. Um, and I personally don't like to rush, you know, so I ask you before the massage, okay, is there anything you want me to focus on? Please answer then and there, you know, cause that's one of my pet peeves is when I'm working on someone, mind you, I work on the whole body. So say they want me to work on the neck, then I will work on the neck. But when they say, can you work on my neck more? It's kind of like, that's why I asked you in the beginning of the massage, like, what do you want me to focus on? You know, because, um, some patients, which I get it because some patients don't realize they need the work until you're there. But it's kind of like, okay, well, you know, I still do it, you know. But at the same time, I'm kind of like, I just don't, I hate rushing. And that's one of my pet peeves. Um, what else? Yeah, so let them know ahead of time what you want them to work on. And don't be shy, you guys. Like, I have patients who tell me, oh, just work on my back. And I'm fine with that. Like, I'll just work on your work. Back. I have patients who say, oh, um can you please skip my legs like I just want my arms worked on or, or whatever it is you know we're we are understanding we know what you need because at the end of the day you're the boss you know the pressure you guys speak out with the pressure oh my gosh I tell my patients you know I try to be very um uh how do you say uh very right so I want my patients to feel good not good but like que se sienta con confianza, you know um and i let them know like please let me know at any time if i'm doing too much or not enough because sometimes i've heard horror stories of people who get worked on you know and they're like oh my gosh like the last person was just beating me up and this and that and i'm like oh my gosh like you didn't tell them to you know lighten up and they're like no i just didn't I, like i just didn't want them to feel weird and i'm like dude like it's your body if you're gonna get bruised and sore you're gonna have to deal with it so you have to speak up um but for the most part i feel like my patients feel very um comfortable with me and they let me know like okay that's too much and you know what as a massage therapist um you need to let them know everything's gonna be okay towards the end of the massage and even during the massage like i've had massages by people who i'm like um can you lighten up a bit and i can kind of feel their energy like oh my gosh you know but you know at the same time it's like dude it's your body you know i never do that to my patients because i'm like huh, i feel you i myself don't like deep pressure like i can take pressure on my back but when it comes to my glutes and my legs i'm like i'm like can't you just like rub the lotion on me <laughs> you know because it's just it I, it just depends. Every body is different, you guys. I have some people who I'm legit on my tippy toes. Like, I'm like, you know? And I have patients who are just like, doo -doo 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 -doo, you know? Like, very, very light. Fourth, but most important one would be hygiene, you guys. Oh, please, please, um, wear deodorant. You know, sometimes I, I myself, I'm very sensitive to hygiene. And sometimes I'm like, like, I kind of wanted to throw up right now like gagging when I have the uh, patients who show up and they're when you go to the gym is different because you know 
I don't mind working on sweaty bodies. Like, I've had to work on patients who legit just come out from the sauna. Like, who are sweating and stuff. But they don't smell. You know what I mean? Um, so, please wear deodorant. Please, please, um, you know, don't freaking drench yourself with the fucking perfume. But, you know, keep a good hygiene. Shower the day before. Or, I mean, the... Um, an hour before the massage sometimes you know I understand we go to work and then after work we go get a massage that's fine but please have good hygiene um, it's not fun for the therapist to be working on a stinky body because I've had uh, probably a good handful of patients who don't have a really good hygiene and I'm like fucking torture dude like it's already hot working on the patient because you know you're I'm physically moving and then having to smell that it's kind of like so just have good hygiene, you guys. We'll let you guys go. And if you have a massage, good luck. Enjoy it to the fullest. Um, you know, just just relax. That's the point of a massage. Just relax. All right? All right, guys. I will... Uh, I actually have to get going. So um, until next time, you guys will see me in another video. Bye.